First, I'm going to analyze the problem. What information do I know? Well, I know that the art teacher had 51 markers in the supply box. She gave 29 markers to Ms. Robles. So 29 markers. That means the art teacher has less markers. And if she gave them to Ms. Robles, that means Ms. Robles has more markers than when she started. What is the problem asking me to determine? Let me read the question again. How many markers does the art teacher have left? Hmm. I don't want to know about Mrs. Robles' markers. I'm trying to find out the number of markers that the art teacher has in the supply box now that she gave some markers away. Next, I'm going to plan and solve. What operation is implied by the problem? I think it's subtraction. The art teacher had 51 markers in her supply box and she gave 29 away. She has less markers than when she started, 51 minus 29. What strategy can I use to solve the problem? I'm going to use an open number line to find the difference between 51 and 29. I'm going to start with 29. I'm going to jump to 39. That's 10. I'm going to jump to 49. 10 more. Then 50. 51. So my answer is 10, 20, 21, 22. There are 22 markers left. Now I'm going to justify and evaluate my answer. How can I prove that my solution answers a question? Well, my answer is 22 markers. Is that answer reasonable? Let me go back to the problem. The art teacher had 51 markers. She gave 29 markers to Ms. Robles. So that means she doesn't have those 29 markers anymore. And that means that the number she has left has to be a lot smaller than 51. And 22 is smaller than 51. Let me check my work. 51 minus 29 equals 22. So that means 22 plus 29 equals 51. Two ones and nine ones is 11 ones, or one one and one ten. One ten plus two tens plus two tens is five tens.